Hello and welcome to City Lights. I'm your host Sarah Yu and today we are at Infinity Dining where Chef Alex Rotherham is going to teach us how to make the perfect steak. Hi Alex, how's it going? Good Sarah, how are you today? I'm good, I'm starving actually and I'm wondering what you have in store for me. Oh, we got a great thing. We're going to show you how to grill the perfect steak and we're also going to prepare a warm spinach salad to go with that. It's a perfect accompaniment. That sounds delicious. That's I can't it. wait to get started. All right, let's go. <laughs> so Alex, what are we starting off with first? We're going to be starting off with our warm spinach salad, served with a sherry vinegar reduction, caramelized pecans, roasted cremini mushrooms, and maple wood smoked bacon. Perfect, that sounds great. Let's get started then. So first thing you want to do is make sure you have a nice hot pan. Mm -hmm. What I use is basically olive oil. And then you take it over here and then get a little chopped bacon. And you basically get that back onto the heat. You just want to let the bacon saute a little bit. Right. Um, this is going to toast the bacon up a bit mm -hmm. and the flavor, the, the fat of the bacon is going to melt into the oil and that's mm -hmm. actually going to add to the flavor of the vinaigrette. And now we can add the rest of the ingredients. So we have the caramelized pecans. Basically what you do is, uh, to get caramelized pecans is you caramelize uh, sugar, so just a little bit of sugar in a right. pot, a little bit of water until it turns golden brown. Okay. And you pour that over some, some pecans, just toss that over, uh, fire that in the oven for about four or five minutes to toast it, mm. and that's your caramelized pecans. Perfect. And then roasted cremini mushrooms. And with the roasted cremini mushrooms, uh, slice them up, mm -hmm. toss them a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and then you have your oven set at like 500 degrees, so it's really hot, and it's in there for about 9 to 10 minutes, right. um, until they're basically they're cooked all the way through. Okay. And so basically by doing that, and then rather than just sauteing the order, right. it basically gets all the, so the extra moisture out of the mushrooms, oh, okay. and so it intensifies the flavor, and so oh. you get a much stronger flavor of the mushrooms. And once all that's sauteed and everything, mm -hmm. It's a sherry vinegar. Add that. Beautiful. And just a few seconds, and that will reduce. And we just pour that over the spinach. And you want to make sure the spinach has been out of room temperature for a while, so it gets nice and warm. Oh, okay. And like obviously this is going to heat it up more, but mm. you don't want to have a cold spinach. And then just pour that all over the spinach, and it'll just sort of trickle down over all the leaves and everything. Mm. And that is a warm spinach salad. Alex, the salad looks delicious. What is next? Well, we're gonna follow up now with the grilled steak, which we're gonna serve with roast or warm potato salad and sweet corn relish. So, Alex, what kind of a cut are we using here today? Uh, we have the, our New York steak here. Mm -hmm. We use is a, a Canada AAA, and I marinate at minimum. Or sorry, we get it aged a minimum of 28 days. Right. And then once we get that, then I actually take it and then marinate it for at least 24 hours in a blend of olive oil, canola oil, garlic, and black pepper. Well, let's fire up the grill. All right, so throw that steak on the grill. We we'll always make sure the barbecue is really hot. Okay. Um, basically, what we do is like medium to high heat. Medium to high. And then basically, when you add the steak on there, if you don't hear it starting to sizzle away, it's not hot enough. <laughs> I do hear that sizzle. <laughs> Okay, and so now while that's going, I got my roast potatoes, which we're gonna have to get into the oven. So what we do is like actually like roast the potatoes ahead of time. Okay. And so they're basically three quarters done. That's perfect. And so fire them in the oven. It's all about timing in here, eh? Okay. And so the potatoes, so they got about five minutes in the oven. While those are going and the steak's cooking, we have to get our corn relish on. So the corn relish, is, uh, we make ourselves. It is to take fresh corn kernels. Uh, diced white onions and diced red peppers and mix it with a rice wine vinegar Okay. and a little bit of water, a pinch of salt and sugar Okay. and all you do is you bring that up to a boil and, that, and it's done. You basically put it into a jar and oh. pull away. Okay. So now we give our steak a little turn. So basically for, for grilling the steak uh, obviously, the different temperatures are, you know, what you, you, what you want. Um, you want to basically try and move the steak as little as possible. Okay. Uh, the more, like, some people you'll see, they'll basically keep turning it around, flipping it over right. and back in. Uh, especially when you flip it from one side to the other. Uh -huh. uh, what happens is the meat actually gets hotter and then colder. Oh, and what okay. does that, it actually toughens up the meat. 
Oh. And so you want to just basically, so you turn it once on one side, flip it over, turn it once on the other side, and that's it. And if you're doing like doing a rare, I say right. don't even turn it at all. Just leave it. Yeah, just basically put it on the one side, flip it, and then off. Okay. Got a nice medium rare steak down there. So what we want you to do is before you uh, serve, you actually want to take it aside, let it sit for a minute. Because um, if you actually cut into it right away, right. Um, all the juices actually will leak out. Oh, okay. And then it'll stay dry. And now, something we do a little bit differently with the potatoes mm -hmm. is rather than just doing roast potatoes, I make a warm potato salad. Oh, okay. So I take my roast potatoes, add some uh, bacon bits, which again, all you do is chop bacon mm -hmm. in a saute pan, uh, and you basically just saute it right. until it basically gets really, really crisp. Okay. Um, when, when it's uh, sautéed, you can notice that a lot of the fat's going to melt. Right. And don't actually drain off the fat. Don't leave drain it, the fat. Leave the fat in, in there because it's sort of actually sort of it deep fries in its own fat. Oh, okay. And so basically once, and once it's totally crisp, then you want to basically drain off all the fat as possible and then actually put in some paper towels. Okay. And fat dry. And some diced red onions. And then we have this, I make as a fresh herb mayo. So it's got basil and parsley and uh, capers all pureed in there. Oh. Um, just like the flavor, again, you can do your own thing, just grab like a mayonnaise and put any fresh herbs and stuff that you want it to make kind of flavor. And just toss that up. And that goes onto the plate. And then we got a corn relish, it's a nice hot there. as well. Nice grab a steak. And that is my New York steak. Well, Alex, thank you so much for teaching us how to make steak. It looks amazing and it smells great, and I can't wait to try. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, that was quite the adventure. Now I know how to make the perfect steak. Head on down to Infinity Dining and check out Chef Alex Rotherham's fantastic steaks. For City Lights, I'm Sarah Yu, about to dig in to my delicious New York strip wine. <laughs>